Hey guys, and we're going to be playing some Duck Life today. So this is a... So this is a game to where we uh, have to train our ducks. So you're on a huge farm and are making tons of money. And by tons, you mean tonnes. But one day, a tornado comes along and destroys it all. The only thing that survives is a single duck egg. So you have to train this duckling into a racing duck to make enough money to be real to farm. So here we are. We're a little duck here. And basically we gotta feed it and feed a bunch of food. And then we have to train. So here's flying training. Yeah, basically, there's like nothing that mentioning here. So I'm just gonna do this a little bit just to catch some coins. So we can take a look at the shop, we can get hats, we can we can get paint. Uh, we can also get like seeds. There you go. <laughs> okay. So let's do some try let's do some more training here. So this is running, basically we just have to dodge the uh, boulders as they come. I guess you could you could basically just do this forever basically and it wouldn't be uh, too big too difficult but <laughs> we keep missing the coins eh, whatever it's no big deal really Yeah, the difficulty starting to pick up now. And basically, we want to we want to max we want to be able to max out all our different uh, abilities, basically. I'm missing all the coins. Got that one at least. Actually, pretty good at this. Ah, oh, okay. Training over. See, look at how much, look at how much we got from that. Let's keep feeding him a little bit more food, really quick.
So as you can see, the uh, these the skill ones they increase the level up by uh, by one. And then the, uh, um, and then the, uh, um, regular seats, they basically do a block. Flying, I think, is going to be the most grindy of them all, just because, like, uh, uh, just because, like, we just stop flying and we run out of energy after a while. You can always just keep, you can basically just keep going straight too. That's another thing. But yeah, basically, anything you really do in this game, you just, uh, basically just, uh, um, train your dock, you get it flying up to max, you get running up to max, and you get swimming up to max, because we haven't even, I haven't even shown yet, but we'll have to see. So we got level 20. Let's go do some swimming training. So basically, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. So we want to jump over anything we need to jump over, and then don't do that. We want to go underneath the things you can go under, like the boats and the thing. the coins are kind of out of the way so they don't it's not like you can get the coins and just be like oh yes they're all in the path now sometimes they're just out of the way but any coin we get of course is another step up in the world I keep missing the coins. I don't know how. Nope! <laughs> what the heck was that? It, it just missed the, um, it just missed it completely. I don't know how. There we go. So your duck can only jump so far, and it can only swim so far. See that that coin? If I would have gotten that coin, I would have been the game over because I was on I would have been on the island. Yeah. This first game isn't really all that long. It's I think it's like only a, an hour or so. So maybe that's how much time we can spend on it. It's really not that long. Our difficulty starting to ramp up here. And you basically just want to um, train your duck enough to where uh, it can uh, uh, go in the races. See, now it's really starting to kick up. Sorry, I got an itch. At this point, any any coin we grab here is uh, okay in my books, but ooh, just missed that. No. It's hard to 
I kind of move your thumb with the stuck because sometimes your duck wants to go back. And you want that? <laughs> I flinched. Anyway, uh, I guess we could do some more flying really quick. Yeah, we basically just want to uh, train your duck enough to where it'll uh, he'll. Uh, um, I think I just. I think I just. I think I could just, uh, just keep going straight and then just try it all over again because their duck can only go so far every time. One thing about this game is that it's very grindy. It is very grindy, especially here with a flying thing. But yeah. My main goal is really just to complete the game. There's really no incentive to, uh, there's really no incentive to, to trying to, uh, go 100%. Because you just, you only have to do is get the color, yeah, you can get the colors and hats. I might do that. I might try to, I might try to get all the hats and stuff. But otherwise, I'm, but otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna focus on beating the game. If you get a little faster each time. Yeah, well, I'm not too focused on the coins anymore. Okay. Let's get some more skill seeds. So yeah, you can unlock, you basically can unlock more as you continue. So let me go ahead and uh, feed these really quick. But yeah, as you can see, the energy is going up by one every time. That's really what we want. That's really what we want. I think, so now I think we're good enough to enter a race. So let's see, we got the Green Valley, and you really can't do anything over here. You just have to let your watch as your ducks race. <laughs> yeah, I completely blew everyone out of the water with that. And after some time passes, go. And we unlock Brent. We unlock more stuff to, uh... You unlock more stuff to, uh... Unlock later, but I, right now I'm just kind of focusing on getting all my, all my stats up completely. I think we can do some more running training. I'm gonna try to get as many coins as possible here, but it's not... It's not always going to be a gimme. The fact that there's like two boulders racing simultaneously is just crazy. Whoa! Ah, yeah. Oh, I guess I could just tap it. I only just swipe it. Eh, whatever. No! Oh, I landed on top of the thing! I thought I had enough distance to cover both of them. Try to kind of get a run going. That is the problem because I feel like I just get too slow for some jumps, and then they become harder than what they is supposed to be. You know? Do, do, do. Oh shoot! I knew that was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. As you can see, the max level is 150, so I'm going to try to get to 150 on, on each of these before we do any more races. But because once we get to 150, you're going to realize that we pretty much demolish the competition, regardless of what we get. Okay, there we go. 
But yeah, Duck Life 1 is relatively short. I think Duck Life 2 might be just as short, if not a little bit longer than Duck Life 1. Duck Life 3 is where we really got, is where we really have to have, is where we really get stuff in terms of longevity. Do, 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 do. I thought it was I thought I messed it up. There we go. Problem is you can't double jump. That's one thing about this game. Is that you can't, no matter what you do, you can't double jump. Ah, I'm gonna botch it. Okay. 137, I think one more good run should give us enough. Problem is you have to start at the slowest speed possible every single time. It kind of gets annoying. There we go. Whatever that coin would have spelt me my doom. There we go. Oh, that spelt me my doom. So now that we're at, we're at the max level for the uh, um, uh, running now, 150 is the max you can get for each of these. So let's go back to flying training, and we're going to focus on doing most of that now. But this one is going to be very grainy, especially since we can only fly for so long. So, enjoy the next 10 minutes of flying, because that's all I'm going to be doing, basically. I thought I could like dip down and low and just keep going, but now really you just have to fly straight. I think. Unless you want to get the coins. No, it's not, which is not really too much more concern right now. Yeah, so this is basically what it's gonna be for the next few minutes. get farther with each attempt which is a good thing because then that means we get more points so it's not too it's not too difficult thankfully all right there's that attempt done yeah we got a little Levelage each time. So flying does get more interesting with uh, um, Dark Life 2. You'll see why later on. Alright, level 94. Yeah, sorry this is getting repetitive, but this is basically what this game is all about. Just training your dock up to the max level it can be, and just uh, mainly doing the thing you, mainly doing everything you can to 
to make sure it's insane. We're at 115, so we're getting pretty close to the end. But yeah, this is a relatively short game. One twenty seven, we're getting pretty close. Okay, one forty, we're almost there, guys. One more attempt will do it. One fifty, there we go. All right. Get some more skill seeds. We're gonna max out. I'm gonna max out the amount of everything that we have. Yeah, I think the amount of energy we have is we get from all this is pretty good. Especially now, yeah, we're approaching the 100. So let's go ahead and do max out our swimming thing really quick. That was close. Ooh. Close again. Then once we max out this, we should have no problem. Uh, finishing off all the races. Oh boy, that was close. <sighs> Could do anything with that. I'm trying to make sure I don't get caught in anything. I just dove under the glacier somehow. Well, that will never happen again. Unfortunately, the, this game can be pretty buggy at times, but that was awesome. That was a buggy at all. Oh, 
Oh. Jumped a little bit too late. What the? Okay. I wonder if anyone have ever tried to, uh, um, get from like level zero, level one to level 150 on their first go through. It's kind of interesting to think about. All right, getting pretty close to being done here. I think this is the last, uh, messed it up. This is the last stretch that we have to do and then we can go ahead and go to the rest of the races. But yeah, pretty simple. Let me take a look at the... Alright. I think we're good on energy. So, let's just do the races. So, we already did Green Valley. Now it's time for Rocky Cliff. And you can check out what this stick out. Yeah, I'm too fast for them. Basically flew at the finish line. Base, that's what basically happened. And I barely even used any energy. So yeah, we won Crazy Red. Now it's time for Shallow Lake, which is going to test our uh, swimming abilities. See, so yeah, unfortunately, you can't really do much here. And it's just you trying to watching your duck uh, try to win or lose. But yeah. Deep purple. All right, natural world. This is why we need the excess energy because this is kind of a long trek. There we go, we finished. We didn't even need to swim in the uh, water. Nice, the bowler hat. And we've unlocked the amateur races. So as you can see, we got a lot more. I'm gonna try to max out my uh, uh, energy for the upcoming races. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and lock everything. Let's start unlocking everything. Amateur races time, the banister climb. Here we go. So this should be no trouble at all by this point. Yep, see you guys. <laughs> you didn't stand a chance. Yeah, we unlocked Boring Gray. Now for Lethal Stage. Now this one's kind of funny. Because I, since I fly too fast, I just bonk into the wall. It's kind of funny to me. Yeah, everyone else is going to finish now. Here we go. Midnight Black is what we unlocked this time. Now for Swimming Pool. Swimming Pool. Did it, did it, did it. Yeah, we're just too fast. We're just too fast. Pretty pink is what we have unlocked this time. And now for the rooftop jumping. 
Yep, there we go. But yeah. There we go. And there's the finish line right there. So yeah, basically, the first three are just sections of the entire map, and then the last race is basically the entire map. So we've unlocked the propeller half. Yeah, let's unlock our first half. Boom. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess you... Okay. Well... Anyway, let's do the expert races up the volcano. I don't really want to. I don't really want to focus more time on this shot because I'm realizing that's not unlocking them. You already unlocked them. Uh, but yeah, you basically just spent some money to take your put your hats on. Snow White is what we unlocked this time. Now for over the volcano, we want to make sure we go over the lava. that. Lime green, and now we're going across the volcano. Through that, and that's that race done. Go. Uh, I didn't see what we got this time, but now for the volcano challenge. Now we cross the finish line. Ta da! And there we go, the Liberty Spikes. And now we can do the World Championships. Thanks to your incredible race record, you have been chosen the race against the World Champion. If you win, you'll receive enough money to rebuild the farm. Let's see about that. So yeah, that, that, so that guy's the world champion right there, and we're racing against him, basically. Unfortunately, these steps are kind of slowing us down, and now we get to fly down them. But yeah, that's, but yeah, this is basically why we wanted to max out all our stats, because uh, uh, otherwise the world champion will beat us if we don't. Yeah, that went off without a hitch. You came first. You win 200,000 coins and have saved the farm. You are now champion of the world of racing ducks. Congratulations. Yes, that's it. But no more ducks race for you. But guess what? You continue your duck training adventure by playing Duck Life World Champion from the main menu. Then you can play Duck Life 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Don't say we don't treat you. Crown unlocked for the king of ducks. So yeah, no more we can do here, basically. We got enough money that we could uh, raise the farm. So yeah. That is Tuck Life 1. So yeah, a pretty short game when compared to the rest. So yeah. That's gonna do it for this video. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And next, next time we do uh, Duck Life, we're going to do Duck Life 2. See you next time. Take care.